Hey and welcome back to the channel. Now in this video what I want to do is to take a look at how we can create a Vue.js project. And I'm going to start off simple and I'm going to look uh, at the more production based type. So what we're going to use first is the CDN. So we're going to look at how we can do this using the CDN which I had already touched on on the previous video in the series. So that's the installation video. But I thought that I would just uh, make a, another video that's basically dedicated to creating an actual project so the next uh, way that I'm going to look at is using the view CLI which you can see at view CLI that uh, you can install from view uh, CLI from CLI.view.js.org so yeah and I had looked at how we can install that in the previous video so let's go ahead now and click on on the Vue.js.org website, you want to just go to get started, and this will just bring you to the in, in, introduction page. And in the introduction page, what we can do is it gives us this little demo here where you can read through the documentation and you see I can see how we can uh, just create a simple uh, index.html file, which is what I'm going to do now. And we also have the development, uh, we have the development CDN and we also have the production CD. So let me just go ahead and copy this here and I have my Atom ID uh, text editor open here. So I'll just open a new project uh, well I'll just create a new file I should say and just call it index.html and in here I'm just gonna create a scaffold and uh, I'll just put the script tag here and the reason why it's not showing is that I need to just uh, reopen that so I guess I sync or whatever so uh, CDN, I'm just going to name this CDN uh, installation and all we really have to do is it's just it's this simple uh, we have this little bit of code here that they, they basically gave us so I'm just going to copy this and show you and just explain how this works so basically what happens is that uh, we have a div with uh, app an app ID which will be the controlling div for the Vue.js that we'll be working with and uh, I'm just going to copy this so that we can get a better uh, understanding of what I'm attempting to explain so outside of the body we may, we'll make a script tag and we'll just add this JavaScript here so here we go perfect let me just save that now so this is basically how you can create a project using a uh, view so it's, it's really really this simple so what is happening here is that we're getting the element uh, on this div that has the ID so you can know that the, uh, the, the symbol here means that this is the ID uh, and we're getting the ID that has, has app uh, related to it and we're just creating a new instance a new view instance here so that's basically what we're doing and uh, we have some data uh, here objects so we can just go ahead and pass those into uh, our div here and this will only work within this div so if I should create another div here and put this message uh, I'm gonna put uh, no view just to illustrate what I'm doing here and you will see that the only thing that prints out here is going to be these curly braces with method with message and uh, for the other one you'll see that hello view actually prints out so let me just go ahead and copy the full path and I had my development browser open here so if I just run that you can see that hello view prints out but no view uh, and no view you only get the message so that's basically that but one other thing that I wanted to point out is that uh, normally in, in more production based or when we're using somewhat of like the CLI we normally create the data as a function so that's I think that's more of the standard now so it's a function that returns an object so this is how it is created now in this sense and if I should save this and uh, refresh you will see that it still works perfectly fine because uh, I guess that's just the standard and that's how I prefer to use it even if I'm creating something as simple as this 
which I don't normally do but if I do then I prefer to have uh, it as a function because that's how I would be normally using it that's pretty much how to install Vue.js using the CLI and uh, if again if you're going to go production based then you wanna uh, use uh, the production version that's pretty much that uh, the next way that we can create uh, a view project is by the next way that we can is, is by using the, the, the view CLI which is once you have view uh, CLI installed so you just run this command npm install tag g which just means global on your entire system at view CLI and that will make that global installation if you want to just add it to a project only then you just remove this tag g uh, you have yarn global if if that's if you're using yarn uh, I use npm so I'll just work with that then we can create a project uh, two ways we can create one using the view UI and we can also use it via the command line which uh, will typically be using which I guess uh, I won't say that I have a, a preference I like the command line because I think that it's maybe a lot more fast but the the view UI has a couple of perks that I really like as well so yeah uh, so I'm going to show you how to uh, create a project uh, in that now so what you want to do is just have your terminal up and again basically uh, you want to ensure that you have view uh, CLI installed so to check that you just go for view tac -tac version and uh, you will see the version number that you have uh, if and view at view CLI if it's installed on your machine and uh, you can just check the pre if you don't have this inside you can check the previous video of how uh, to install it you can just type anywhere on search anywhere on YouTube and, you, and I'm pretty sure you will have that so but to install it, all you have to run is just npm install and you wanna ensure that you have node uh, with node package manager so that's npm that's that so let's go ahead now and create a project uh, from the command line I'll make a video on the UI at a, at a later date so uh, what I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna cd into uh, nope. I'm gonna cd into this project here so I'll just create it from here so I'll just copy that and just create it I'll straight inside of this directory here so in here uh, what you're gonna do is just run a view create and you give the project a name so we're gonna call this view installation I don't think it really matters that much and then we we'll just click on enter and then we'll get some options uh, we'll start to install and then we we'll get some op uh, options to, to configure our or a uh, view project all right so by default it has bubble or ESLint you can use your uh, up and down keys on your keyboard to select different features say so if I should click on manual uh, features then you will have some other options and that's what I'm gonna do so that you will be able to see that so you can click on stuff like uh, to add you use your space key to add uh, uh, whatever you need so some of the stuff that you will you more than likely need is the view router so you uh, click on space so that will select it for you and uh, UX and these are stuff that you can add afterwards and you may not need the CSS preprocessors the linting is always good uh, the progressive web application support I'm not sure if I you can always add these afterwards so I'm not sure if I want to add them just yet so let me see if I can undo these because all we are looking at no, I'm actually gonna put the router there because we're, we're very much gonna need that and the VX. But for the rest of them, it's pretty much okay. They click on enter to continue.
uh, do you want to use history mode so this will pick from whether you're gonna have that hash in the URL or not so I'm just gonna click on yes and uh, with the ES lint I'm going to just use ES lint plus prettier and uh, we're gonna go ahead and save on lint and I'll just work with that and I'll just have them in uh, dedicated config files and then we'll, I won't you can save the preset if you want by clicking yes but for me I don't want to save it because uh, it's fine with me so what the package manager that I'll be using is uh, npm so you can just read through these things uh, and you will have an understanding of what they're they're saying so just click on enter and you'll see the project uh, starting to, uh, to install alright so that took uh, about a minute or so or two which is what I really love about this machine it's really fast so what you want to do now is just to go ahead and cd into the project so the project is view installation and uh, once you're in there you can just run npm run serve and while that's running that will create uh, the, the local server uh, if I now I'm just gonna close this out if I now open this you'll see that we have the view uh, project in here so we have this git repository that was initialized we have these node uh, modules we have the public folders which just have the index HTML is the, the one index HTML is pretty much serving the project via uh, the app ID which we looked at uh, in uh, the, the CDN way of installing this it's basically every it's just one HTML page and everything is being served through this div right here everything uh, basically is being served here so that's that for the index page so we won't really ever uh, touch this page uh, I don't we don't really will ever have uh, any reason to touch that page uh, or that file now in the source folder which you will be most of the time this is where you keep your assets so I guess most static files like uh, images CSS JavaScript you will have here uh, for the components these are what we'll use to build up uh, parts of your project for now we only have this uh, hello world component in here and uh, this is basically has a, a prop that is passing some string and we'll see that uh, further on for the router we have this file here we have uh, index.js which is going to be uh, storing all our routes for now we only have two routes which uh, are the views basically that we'll have here and you see them so we have hope the home uh, view our route and again we're using the history mode so we won't get that uh, hook, uh, that hash symbol in there and yeah we just created a new uh, view it created a new router instance so that's that uh, so when we're creating when we're creating new routes you have to come in here and put those routes in and that's one thing that I don't really like about view that's why I prefer Nux because I don't have to do all of that but yeah uh, that's just one drawback of it so on the home page we actually register that, that component in here which I'm gonna show you how to do that in uh, videos coming up and we have this they give us this comment that shows us that the alias the at symbol just means that we're at the source uh, in here so we just register the component and uh, yeah it works the, str the message prop that was passed we have it uh, here and we also have this uh, this image that is coming from the assets folder and uh, I don't know why this is showing like this that the, it seems like it hasn't picked up it, it hasn't picked up uh, it's picking up as plain text it hasn't picked up that it's view but that's not any big deal right now the app is our main uh, entry point for applications everything is running through this app so you can see we have uh, 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 it here so everything everything is, is basically passing through this uh, router view here so once uh, let me see if I can find 
to take the view because I'm not uh, JavaScript. Okay, so this looks up, this looks better. So everything is basically running through through this uh, this app page here, this view I should say. So this router view. So all these views that are here, so the home and the about view, everything is is running th through here. So if I add whatever I add to the top of here or the bottom of here, will be served on every page. But the, the about and the home page will be rendered through this and you have these router links that are linking through the rest of the page. We have some default styling that are here. And yeah, so the main is is the other uh, main component of this thing here, which you can import stuff and add other packages if you have like some other CSS or some styling framework or whatever you can add those here and stuff you can see that everything is being mounted on the app which I had showed you in the public folder so yeah that's how that works and it's also taking the store and the router which I showed you so we get in the, the router views from there and the, 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 the store is a very important part of uh, Vue.js which we're not really gonna touch into that much I don't think we're gonna touch into it that much just yet I'll just think about that this is our state management area so this is where we manage our state the state of our projects and this is probably one of the most important tools you'll ever find in Vue.js because this will make your your project mass this will make your project scalable because uh, VJS has it has its limitation, but this really helps with it. So that's pretty much that for the project structure. We have some other files like package.json, readme, and uh, git ignore and stuff like that. You pretty sure you may have an understanding of what those do. So yeah, so that's pretty much that for this uh, for the project there. Now the server should be running on port 8080. So if I just click on this it should open a window in here or not so let me just go to local host port 8080 and we see our project here so this is our freshly installed view project is showing the the, the the CLI plugins that we have that we have Babel router Vuex and ESLint so those are the ones that we had installed and we also have some some uh, external links to different uh, places on the web so we can route through our pages just like that and you can see that there is no refresh because this is a single page application and everything is just being rendered on through one index.html page uh, but because of the JavaScript and how amazing view is uh, it's showing uh, the different pages and this is a component that we would have seen the hello uh, real component so that's pretty much it for this video on the installation of uh, creation of new projects so yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one